Nestled deep between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter lies a great cosmic junkyard, the Asteroid Belt. First of all, let's set the record straight. Asteroids, comets, meteors, and everything else. What are they, and what's the difference between them? Asteroids are rocky bodies that orbit the sun. Comets are a bit like asteroids, but are made of ice and dust instead of rock. Meteoroids are chunks of stray debris broken off from asteroids or comets. Meteors are chunks of asteroids or comets that burn up when they hit the Earth's atmosphere, causing a streak of light in the sky, more familiar to us as a shooting star. Last but not least, meteorites are chunks of asteroids or comets that make it all the way through the Earth's atmosphere and land on the surface of our planet. The asteroid belt was once believed to be the remnants of a previous planet orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. Then again, no ironclad evidence for this alleged planet was ever discovered. So today's astronomers are far more convinced that the asteroids are the leftover unused materials from our solar system's early formation, some four and a half billion years ago. The asteroid belt serves as a buffer zone between the four inner rocky planets and the four outer gas planets of our solar system. And it's necessary to cross this busy realm on our solar system journey. The belt covers a massive spread of around 140 million miles between Mars and Jupiter. There are millions upon millions of asteroids roaming the belt, ranging from the size of tiny pebbles all the way up to small dwarf planets. Some one to two million asteroids, larger than half a mile across, dwell the asteroid belt, including Ceres, the largest known body in the asteroid belt measuring nearly 600 miles across. Ceres alone also makes up nearly 40% of the belt's entire mass. But don't be fooled. Even if you clumped every last piece in the asteroid belt together, it would only amount to a body far less massive than Earth's moon. And despite there being several million asteroids in the belt, our solar system is thankfully very vast which allows for an average of 600,000 miles of space between asteroids. This half a million miles of space allows us to comfortably travel across the asteroid belt without the risk of collision. Even though the asteroid belt has been quite treacherous, we must cross it in order to reach the outer solar system. Next stop, the king of all planets, mighty Jupiter.